hello friends welcome back to my channel uh, in this today's video uh, we are going to learn about how to configure platform settings on the firepower management center first of all if you are new to my channel uh, please uh, subscribe so that you will get uh, all new updates as soon as uh, it gets posted on the channel <laughs> Okay, uh, if you are familiar with the FMC console, uh, you must have used platform settings. Um, if you are new to uh, FTD and then started using uh, FMC console for your FTD devices, yes, this video is going to make be useful for you. Uh, please watch the video until the end. You will get each and every sections of information uh, very clearly and very useful for you for your practice and your day-to-day uh, -day support life. Platform setting policies are actually a shared policy across multiple devices. So when I say that the policies that you want you are creating under platform settings can be used um, to a multiple devices at the same time um, so that the management of uh, your um, administration of having the similar policy across the uh, different uh, devices are very easy to manage and very consistent to manage at the same time a shared policy makes it possible to configure multiple managed devices at a single time. So which is actually provides a consistency in your deployment and streamlines your management efforts. But even in this case, uh, if you are managing a single device, you have to create a platform setting policy and you have to apply that platform settings policy to the intended single device um, as a policy effect device under managed by the FMC console. Remember the platform settings can be managed only on the FMC. Um, if you are managing the FTD locally and near locally by the um, uh, FDM, you don't need to be worried about uh, the platform settings on the FMC side because it is going to be directly configured on the device itself. If you are com managing all of your uh, legacy devices like uh, Firepower legacy and um, um, all the software modules of Firepower A ASA or if you are managing uh, your FTD devices platform settings is must be useful. Um, remember you can configure a different shared setting policy but per each device group for example if you are managing um, multiple uh, um, cisco asa devices or firepower uh, software module devices you can categorize those based on the uh, platform version sorry platform or the device type so that uh, you can uh, easily manage the configuration settings per device manner uh, and it will be used easy to um, um, manage the custom configuration as you move forward with the multiple set of configuration in the future. What are the prerequisites is needed for platform settings? On the firepower settings, you need to create a shared policy for a classic managed devices. You can, like I mentioned, you can create ASA firepower or uh, next gen IPS devices like a firepower sen um, module sensors you can create this along with threat defense settings i mean uh, even it can be used for ftd devices also it it is supportable you don't need a separate uh, license to it but uh, you need to create correct type of policy for that are targeted devices uh, you cannot uh, create a policy which is not supported for uh, ASA firepower devices uh, likewise you cannot um, um, piggyback or uh, modify the uh, policies for across the different platform settings sorry different uh, devices types 
platform settings are uh, many in the available list for um, AC firepower and threat firepower threat management uh, uh, defense devices. So on the screen you see the list of uh, available uh, configuration types or parameters which you can configure for firepower threat defense devices. Now let's jump onto the uh, FMC console and see how to configure uh, the platform settings. We are on the FMC console. As soon as you are on the FMC console, click on the devices and then uh, platform settings. This is where you will uh, hop on to create, start to create a platform settings for your uh, FTD and uh, for legacy firepower devices. When you click on the new policy, you'll get two options, firepower settings and threat different settings, which means the first option is for creating the platform setting policy for legacy firepower devices and the second one is for threat different devices like FTD. Let's go ahead and create legacy firepower device platform settings and also we will create a separate policy for threat different settings. Go ahead and click firepower settings and before you assign any targeted devices to the policy, we'll just name the uh, policy and click save. I'm just naming it as firepower test and just going ahead and just saving it. As soon as it gets said, it will get the list of uh, parameters or options to configure the uh, platform settings for firepower devices. Okay, so just make a note of this left section because you will see the um, difference in between uh, firepower legacy devices uh, list of uh, platform settings along with uh, the FTD devices. Okay, let's go ahead and cancel this. It got created and now we are going to create one more for uh, firepower threat defense devices go ahead and click new policy threat defense settings name it as ftd test you don't need to select the target devices uh, in the available list now just create the policy and click save You see the list of uh, available parameters for thread defense devices are little high in the number. Over here, like I mentioned, any policy configuration you wanted to share among the same flavor of a different uh, same flavor of a different devices in the uh, infrastructure, you can use this platform settings. For example, uh, the banner should be same for across the devices and DNS configuration, uh, external authentication. So we, um, over here, the external authentication uh, is something you can call it out uh, over here because this is something is already configured in a separate uh, uh, global configuration area. So just for example, go ahead and, and type uh, uh, the banner information testing banner and click save so as soon as you created the policy for FTD you need to assign the policy uh, to where you want to apply this configuration for example I'm selecting selecting a device click add policy click OK and you have to save the configuration once again so once you do that, from now on, if you make any changes to platform settings uh, pertain to this device or neither, if you make any configuration to this particular policy, this will make changes to uh, 
all the list of targeted devices that you are assigned in this policy so when you do deploy a configuration it will make sure to uh, apply the configuration each and every time whenever there is a simple change that are made in the policy so please be careful when you make changes to a platform setting configuration it will definitely going to take effect for the list of targeted devices whatever you have added here and that will have a real impact to do on the devices if you are watching this video already please share your comments on the comment section so that uh, i'll be able to uh, answer if any questions that have been asked or if you want me to um, create a specific video for any specific topic i can try to make it for you okay thank you let's catch up in the next video